Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today we're doing a land-based mission. I've got a few mud crabbing tips and tricks that I reckon are worthy of sharing with you. Now, I know one of them works, but the other one is an idea. I haven't proven it yet, but today we're gonna prove it, hopefully. But anyway, we've got to get there first. Not a bad day for it. All right, we've made it to the spot. Low tide, so I can walk right in. Now, the first little tip is how I found this spot. So everyone knows Google Earth, right? There's a better one. Well, if you live in Queensland anyway. It's called Queensland Globe. Check it out, you can zoom in further. Oh, the bait. I didn't bring Hemi today because I reckon there's definitely crocs in here. So, left the psycho at home. Got sunscreen in my eye. Yeah, so Queensland Globe. That's how I found the spot. Another little pointer. Take screenshots while you got reception because when you get there, you most likely won't have any. So this is where I'm going to put the pots. Going to do an overnight soak, I think. Come back tomorrow and check them. Pretty good. Don't think you could get a boat in here. So that's a bonus. Then we might just go for a little flick, see what happens. Good day for it. Beautiful. The other point is I've got to show you when I get the crab pot set up. All right, so the first little tip that I've found useful when crabbing, sorry, the camera's on an angle, this weighted rope. Now, the good thing about this stuff is when you're land-based crabbing and you don't want poachers to steal your pots, use this stuff. Legally, you can just put your name and phone number and everything on a tag as long as it's above the high water line completely legit you still have to have your pot tagged there's mozzies all over the microphone don't forget air guard that's very important don't know if you can see this this is bad so this stuff i've found where i can get it but i have to buy it in really massive rolls so i'm gonna see if i can get a deal if i can i'll um put it in my website if you just want to get some do it in 10 meter lengths or something like that. So check out skidpig.com. Hopefully I'll have it sorted by the time this video goes live. So weighted rope, really good. People can't see where you put your pot because the line just sinks straight away. Or you, it's, a, it's just way easier to hide your pot. All right, the next one is to do with the crab pot itself and where the bait goes more specifically. So have a look at this. So today we're just using normal round safety pots. Well, that's what I call them anyway. Like this fella here. And these ones have a built-in bait bag which goes on the bottom. Now, I never really had a problem with this idea. I think it's pretty handy. Except for the fact that if you don't have your pot laying completely flat, what's to stop the crab from going under and having a chew? So you're just sitting on something like that, more than enough room for a crab to get in. And then they can just eat it from underneath. They don't have to go in. So ideally, you want a pot that looks like this one, where you can suspend the bait right in the middle. The way I see it, it's kind of like a fast food restaurant, you know, that basically they're using the drive through at the moment, but no one's there. They're just reaching their hand through, grabbing a burger and taking off. Whereas when you have the bait suspended in the middle, you got no choice, there is no drive through. They got to walk in the front door and there's no getting out. So my solution to that problem is a plastic dinner plate. Yep. So just chuck your bait in like you normally do. And before you close him up, put the plate on top. Definitely easier with two hands. Like that. That just shut the drive through. Now they gotta go in the front door. Now keep in mind, I have not tested this theory yet, but it makes sense in my head. 
Then all you got to do, find a good spot where you don't reckon anyone's going to come, chuck your pot in. Don't forget to say bombs away. See how the rope's gone. You can't even see it. How good's that? And just get him up over the high water line. Hide your tag a little bit. Done. And completely legal. Now we've just got to find a spot for this one and we're out of here. Look at the mullet. Hemi would have a field day here. Can you see him? Not a bad little crab hole, I reckon. Go up there a bit more. Why not? Look at that school of bait. You see him? One throw of the cast net. Right there. Oh. oh. Everywhere. Gonna have to come back with the net. <sighs> Bombs away. Just go for a walk just for the sake of it, I think. I've never been here before. Now, it spots in the creek like this is exactly what I was talking about. See near them big mullet? There's a snag. Holy shit, look at all them mullet. But if you threw your pot and it didn't lay flat, you know, crabs could eat. And there's sticks and snags everywhere. You'd destroy a cast net. And Two to five seconds, but it'd be fun. You know I'm gonna do it. No footprints around here. Can't blame them, the mozzies are fierce. Now isn't this some spooky looking shit? That's cool. <laughs> All right, well, it's getting a little bit narrow up here now, and there's just snags and shit everywhere. So I reckon that'll do me. I'll start heading back. I've put my pots in. Yeah, not much point going too far too far further I don't reckon not without air guard <laughs> no, next time next time rightio pots are in the mozzies are chasing me out of the mangrove so we're going to go out the front have a little flick then that'll be the end of day one we'll be back tomorrow to scoop up the pots and see whether my theory works I can't see how it doesn't it just makes perfect sense to me Flying bubbles. Ah, no mozzies. A breeze. I'm actually glad it's blowing 10 knots. How good is this? Oh, it was a really nice day today, actually. Check this out. Just cruising along the beach now, looking for these little landlocked areas like that. Might be full of bait. Hands on. And yep, it's full of bait. And I don't have a net, look at this. Look at that. Whoa. 
Fuck. Damn it. Huh. Clean it all. And it can't get out. Be a good spot for crab. Cool. Amy, you'd love this spot. <laughs> That's wicked. The shit you find when you don't have the right tools. Later. Alrighty, well change of plans. We're going back now to get the pots because I gotta go to work tomorrow. Damn it. But anyway, it's been about four hours, so eh, see what happens. Cross your fingers. Water's a little bit higher than it was before, but I really wanted a few tides to go over it. But what do you do? Oh well. I was going to come back on low tide, so I didn't have to worry about higher water. Oh look, crab. That's a good sign. Alrighty, here we go. Two little ones. Bugger. Ah, oh, they just haven't been in there long enough, I reckon. Well, this was gonna be the first tide that touched the pot, so really had no water movement. That sucks. Oh well, I'll go get the other one. All right. I would love to have a few more tides run over these parts, but oh well. This is a spot I will come back to. There's a few in there. One, two, three, four, five. They're all too small, but That's promising. All bucks too. Give them about a month or so and we'll come back. See you buddy. Oh well, there you go guys. Sucks we didn't really have the time to let the tide do its thing. But I think the, the whole point of it is just to show you the, the sinking rope and the plates really. So what do you reckon? Is there merit to it or you reckon I'm wasting my time? I reckon it definitely, it's plausible. I can see how it would help. But let me know in the comments below if you got any other good tips or ideas drop them down there and share it good day anyway back to reality now back in the truck cheers thanks for watching